Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am so excited because we're going to be talking about all things princess and all things fashion. So in this video, we are going to be talking about uh, the British royal family's dress code and going over how a princess or duchess is supposed to be dressed. And in that way, you guys can see kind of an idea of what you should maybe wear if you're really into the princess look. Uh, for example, I do incorporate a lot of these rules into my own wardrobe because they definitely help you attain that very clean cut, very proper and pristine look. So we're going to be talking about makeup and hair, we're going to be talking about fashion, and I'm going to show you guys live examples of outfit ideas that you guys can do. Um, and yeah, so this particularly pertains to the British royal family, not necessarily every royal family in the world, just because a lot of their cultures and traditions are involved in their dress code all over the world, and it's very hard to kind of narrow or summarize their dress code because of that. So we're going to focus more so on the royal British family, and yeah. So before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, ThreadUp. So ThreadUp is the world largest thrift store with all of your favorite brands up to 90% off. ThreadUp is an online website where you can shop secondhand from the convenience of your own home and be able to buy high quality name brand clothing for a fraction of the resale price. With everything going on today, we really can't go out and go shopping, so this is the best way to go. And in this video, I'm going to show you some pieces that I got from ThreadUp that helped me complete some really nice princessy looks. And also, ThreadUp is offering you an extra 30% off your first order with my code Jessica, so be sure to use it. So first, let's tackle hair. So the requirements for hair are actually very simple. They just want your hair to look simple and clean. Uh, so the first rule is that your hair has to be frizz-free, uh, so it needs to be perfect at all times. Um, your hairstyle that you choose needs to last all day from morning to night, so they want you to just like look exactly the same as if you're some kind of perfect magical being, um, which is a very hard thing to do. So one of my favorite things to do to keep my hair looking the way it does under any type of weather is um, to get a keratin treatment. So keratin treatments are often very popular in the royal family. Um, Kate Middleton, she needs to get you know all of these treatments to kind of make sure it stays relaxed and can take a style better. Um, and Meghan Markle, you know, her hair is always all that straight because she uses a flat iron. So, uh, blowouts and using the flat iron is the most popular thing that they do to achieve that nice, really pretty hair. Um, so maybe you guys can look into that. Um, and some great hairstyle ideas are a very cute ponytail. You can make it very loose like Kate Middleton has here and add a little black bow or, you know, white bow, something very classy. You can also put it in a bun like Meghan Markle did here. And the most popular look that a lot of royals wear is just their hair down and in a very wavy style. So overall, your hair has to look very pretty and simple. Nothing crazy, no crazy hairstyles. You can do a ponytail, a bun, or your hair down. Uh, not many options, but honestly, it makes your daily routine so much easier. Um, and you always look polished no matter what you're wearing. So I definitely inc incorporate that kind of same simple hairdo vibe in my everyday look and it definitely makes a difference. So next we're going to be talking about makeup. So makeup is as simple as your hair. Um, you don't need to look fair face, but you do need to look natural-esque. Um, you're allowed to wear a smoky eye. Kate Middleton has been seen wearing smoky eyes all the time. And you're allowed to wear, you know, a lot of blush and lipsticks, but they all have to be natural toned and that's the catch. Um, they're not very happy if you wear red lip, if you wear a green eyeshadow, blue eyeshadow, uh, they kind of want you to stick to the neutral browns and beiges and skin tone colors and soft pinks. Um, so today I did my makeup just like that. My makeup looks slightly different from my everyday. I toned down the eyeliner, toned down the lashes, and I toned down these type of lipstick and the color. So I added a gloss and the gloss is a really good way to have that natural and clean and feminine beauty type of look. Uh, over a matte. A matte can be very bold and it can dry out your lips and just overall not be very photogenic. So a gloss is a great way to incorporate that kind of princess vibe, which I'll comment in the description box all of the items that I used on my face today. Um, but this is pretty much what they're okay, what they will allow, which is natural but like done up. So like I mentioned, this video is sponsored by ThreadUp, so I'm going to be using a lot of their pieces that I've gotten on their website and mix it with the stuff I already have in my closet to create the cutest, and I mean the cutest, royal, girly, princessy outfit. So, let's do it. 
first major dress code rule for a princess is that all of your skirts need to be knee length. So I found this really cute skirt on ThreadUp and it has a vintage vibe and that's why I was like so obsessed with it. But I'm going to show you guys how to modernize it. Uh, but this skirt is knee length and it has this gorgeous uh, plaid look and it's just so academia style like it's so like oh, pleated and gorgeous. And this is my favorite skirt ever now. And I paired it with this white top that I already had in my closet um, to make it more modern but still be vintage. So I went for a vintage vibe with this. Um, so I very encourage you guys, if you guys are going to try the whole princess vibe, uh, still stick to what you guys like. As long as you abide by the rules, you are, you know, you're able to do it. So. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like together. So this is what the outfit looks like. It is vintage, but it still has a modern flair. The top is also dress code accurate because you aren't allowed to show your shoulders or cleavage, so this top is perfect. And this outfit is overall pretty affordable. I got this skirt for only $10.99 on ThreadUp from the original estimated price of $22. Now I would pair this outfit with some black patent loafers to really complete the vintage inspired look and some sheer pantyhose because those are always required with every outfit at all times. So this next look was highly inspired by Mia Thermopolis in The Princess Diaries 2 during the tea party. Um, and this is the dress that I found from Feta. And it looks so similar, like it just has the same vibe, the same aesthetic. So I'm obsessed with this and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on. So like I mentioned, this dress is perfect for springtime activities outdoors. I got this dress from ThreadUp for $12.99 and the retail estimated price is $48, so that's quite the steal. I would pair this outfit with some dainty pearls as a little accessory. And also some matching pink heels because the royals love to wear monochromatic looks. Now this next look is straight out of my closet, but I just wanted to show you guys because it's so pretty. Um, it has like that very Chanel vibe. Actually, the first time I wore it out, one of my friends were like, wow, you look like a Chanel runway model. It's because of the tweed. Tweed is a great way to look princessy. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what this looks like on. So like I mentioned, tweed is a very good material to look for. Overall, the more royal materials you're wearing, the more royal you look. Now what I really love about this dress is that it has the dainty pearl detailing by the neckline and the coat has matching pearl buttons, which is a win because those kind of matching details make a huge difference to making you look proper. With this outfit, I'm pairing it with this gorgeous gold morganite ring and a pair of rose gold and blush pink shoes to keep the monochromatic theme. So I also got this really gorgeous pale pink uh, wrap jacket, it's very warm and comfortable, um, and I paired it with my blue dress that you guys saw in my 24 hours princess video, if you guys have not seen that, I'm going to link that down below, or at the end of this video, it's a lot of fun, but I wore this dress, and although this dress is so gorgeous, I wanted to pair it with this pink coat because it just looks more me, because I love pastels. Since black is forbidden to be worn by royals, unless it were for a funeral, navy blue is a great alternative, so that's why I really like this outfit. This coat on ThreadUp was $49.99, and the estimated retail price was $250. Now to match it, I'm gonna pair this outfit with my favorite pink kitten heels and a sapphire ring, as princesses are often seen wearing royal looking jewelry. The, the next item is this blue dress. It's like a wrap dress, and it looks so identical to the dress that Kate Middleton wore. I've always loved that blue dress, so I was very excited to find out that I could get a little replica here. So I paired that dress with a matching coat, and it's funny because it says London right on it. Um, it's a very popular jacket style worn by royals, so love, love, love this. And it's a great way to wear like that kind of monochromatic, clean, and crisp theme, so yeah. Now this dress was also from ThreadUp and I got it for $24 with the estimated retail price to be $138. Another dress code rule is that all of your sleeves have to meet right at your wrist so you really want to look out for that and make sure that it's not spilling over. And the coat was $88 with the retail estimated price being $107.
And the last dress is this one here, which is also straight out of my closet. And it's just that great like springtime type of attire. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like on. So like I said, this dress is perfect for the outdoors. It has a very fresh look to it. Now what I really like about this dress is that it's very breathable and comfortable. So it's perfect for long periods of time when you're outside. And a royal would typically wear a dress very similar to this. With this outfit, I would pair it with a gold and white classic watch and a pair of rose gold and blush pink shoes. So that concludes the end of this video. I really hope that this video helped you figure out exactly in what direction to go in terms of your princess wardrobe um, and give you some inspiration to figure out what kind of outfits you wanna have in your closet. So if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and comment down below any future video ideas that you wanna see. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more of princess and 1950s vintage content. And I will see you in my next video.